guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Today, I am just gonna get ready for the day with you guys. We're gonna do a little skincare and makeup because I'm actually going out to lunch with my mom and cousin. So I figured we could just get ready for the day together. I also wanna thank Native for sponsoring today's vlog. I am always so grateful to be working with brands that I have used for so long. And Native has been a favorite of mine for years. I love their products. And Native body washes are one of my most repurchased things in my body care routine. I absolutely love them. They have a huge variety of scents that smell amazing and I'm currently using the powder and cotton which smells so fresh and clean basically this smells like fresh folded laundry on a warm sunny afternoon and I'm obsessed with the texture of these body washes they're gonna give you a really nice luxurious lather without you having to use a ton of excess product and you can also incorporate these in your bath as well which is really nice and these are just gonna have your skin feeling so soft and hydrated without any residue there's also clean simple and effective ingredients which you can see here on the back they're super easy to understand Stand. It's nice because these are also folate free, dye free, vegan, and cruelty free. And they're made with plant based cleaners as well as citric acid for pH balance. So your skin is going to be feeling amazing. So, powder and cotton for me is the current go to, but I'm also such a big fan of these two scents right here. The lilac and white tea is amazing if you're into florals. This is a really nice summer scent. And of course, the sweet peach and nectar is another nice summer option. If you're into the fruity florals, this is for you. And Native not only has you covered with body washes, but as well as all your other personal care needs, they make a really great natural deodorant as well as a good whitening toothpaste and so many other goodies so now is the time to treat yourself and don't forget to use my link and my code juicyjazz10 for 20% off your first order on native and this offer is going to be available site-wide but for a limited time so stock up and save while you can and shout out to native for partnering with me in today's video now let's get into some skincare so morning skincare is literally my favorite I keep it super simple and I pretty much keep the same things in rotation other than I usually switch out my vitamin C and SPF, but I always do this routine in this exact order. So first I start with some glowy sprays, just something really hydrating to give me a boost in the morning. So I actually don't rinse my face with cleanser in the morning unless I really feel like I need to, but I typically just wake up, rinse with water, and then I'll spray some rose water. This one is from Heritage. I love it because it's literally just rose water. So I'll use some of this and I have also been loving the Dalba first spray serum in the morning as well because it gives a really pretty glow. I feel like the rose water is really just super hydrating and refreshing, but the Dalba spray really just kind of locks in that moisture and adds that really pretty dew to the skin. I like both of these together. I've actually been incorporating them. So this combo has been my favorite and I have combo skin, by the way. I'm actually gonna spray more of this Dalba spray. I already have another bottle right here. I could not live without this stuff. It is so good. Literally like my fifth bottle and it's amazing. So you can get it on Amazon and it's top tier. So I just give myself a little spritz let that absorb into the skin for a little bit. I also wanted to mention, I started using this Dermalogica Micro Exfoliant. This is amazing. So basically this is a like white powder and then you just pour it onto your hand, add a little bit of water and it turns into this gritty paste and then you pretty much just rub it and massage it into your skin for about a minute or so and it gently exfoliates without being too harsh. And I've only used this twice and I can already notice and see the difference in my skin. It feels softer. It doesn't feel as textured or gritty, especially around my chin. I do get texture like in this area. So I'm excited to keep using it. I've heard really good things about this. And then I'm gonna use my eye cream. I love the the Honest Come and Renew Eye Balm with my Anissa Beauty Eye Treatment Brush. What's nice about this is that it is literally a balm, so it is a little bit more hydrating than traditional eye cream, and I find that the moisture actually lasts for me. I'm gonna just put this on right under my eyes. If you have dry under eyes, I feel like you would really like this product. It's a little bit thicker, like I said, so if you're looking for something thin and lightweight this might not be the product for you but i love the extra moisture so i've been using this morning and night then i always use vitamin c i'm currently using the desi skin gladoka c serum but i also really like the sunday riley ceo vitamin c serum it's so good but vitamin c regardless of what i'm using i always use it every single morning i just love how hydrating and bright it makes my skin and I feel like whenever I don't consistently use vitamin C, like if I run out, I start to break out and my skin just starts to look dull and it's just not it. So this is a must. And then I'm gonna use some SPF. This one is the Pacifica Everyday Collagen Lotion with SPF 30. I'm gonna apply this with a brush because SPF is a little bit thicker and I just don't like the feeling of it on my hands. And I know you probably definitely should use SPF on your hands, but then for me, that's how I always get it in my eyes and it burns so bad. So I always like to keep the SPF away from my eye area 
and just pretty much rub this in everywhere. And I am pretty generous with this as well. I even put some on my neck too. But this is really nice because it does add a nice glow, but I love how quickly it absorbs it to the skin. And this is the Anissa Beauty All Over Treatment Brush. And I love this for pretty much serums, moisturizers, anything. You can use whatever you want with these skincare brushes. They're really lightweight and easy to use and they don't absorb any of your product. I'm gonna do a little lip oil or a lip balm. Ideally, I feel like you should use something maybe with SPF in it, especially if you're gonna be out and about, but I'm gonna just use the Botanical Collagen Lip Gloss from Pixi. I love this because it's basically like a clear, hydrating, glossy lip balm. It just gives nice moisture. It's really nice under makeup too. So I always like to put something on my lips. So that is the morning skincare. I told you guys it's so easy. And I typically will switch up a couple things as far as like my SPF or my vitamin C serum, but I always keep this order. So I'll start with a glowy spray or a combination of both. Eye cream, vitamin C, SPF, lip balm. That's it. Those are like my top five non-negotiables. And I have found throughout the years that less is more. And the less products I use in the morning, the better results I get. And it's just easier for me to just keep up. So every morning, this is what I do. And I usually like to let this sit into my skin for a little bit before jumping straight into makeup. Another thing I wanted to mention, so I love the rose water, but I also love the rose water toner. So if you have very dry skin, this one is really great because it actually has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's even more hydrating. So sometimes I'll even put this in a little spray bottle. I have a mini one, but it's in my purse because sometimes I like it to refresh throughout the day. But these rose waters are amazing and not live without them so you can get these anywhere any drugstore or ulta but yeah that is it skincare is done i'm gonna see what i'm gonna wear today it's kind of rainy outside but i want to have a cute outfit on because when you look good you feel good okay let's get ready together i just did my brows to save some time because if not i'm gonna be here for like 30 minutes and i honestly don't have a ton of time to get ready we're supposed to be leaving in like 25 minutes and here i am just vlogging casually <laughs> course we got the iced coffee with almond milk this is from duncan and honestly it's all i ever get i try to get almond milk or <laughs> iced coffee with almond milk at other places like starbucks and stuff and i always go back to duncan it's the best and i used to not even be a coffee drinker and now i literally drink coffee almost every day but anyways let's do some quick glam i saw this look that i wanted to kind of recreate it's super simple like glitter eyes and glowy skin so i'm gonna do that today and i'm honestly just in the mood to get ready today because like i said when you look good you feel good i don't really know what else we're doing just going out to lunch i think we might be going to olive garden which is so funny because i've actually never been there before and i was telling my mom that and she's like oh my gosh we have to go so i think that's what we're gonna do today maybe we might go somewhere else if my cousin changes her mind we'll see but as of now, that is the plan, and I'm excited because I love me some pasta. I used to not. I think that's why I just never was really intrigued to go to Olive Garden because growing up, I just didn't really love pasta as much as I do now. But it's a rainy, chill day. We're probably maybe going to do a little shopping after, go to like TJ Maxx or Ross or somewhere. We always end up going to one of those stores afterwards. It's like our thing. That's why I love shopping so much, you guys. I literally grew up shopping so much with my mom and her sisters. Like, I, they would always take me. So I think that's why now... Hold on, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do. I'm looking for my bronzer. Found it. Physicians for me, butter bronzer. But I think that's why now, like, in a lot of my vlogs and just in general, people are always like, you shop too much. But it's because, like, I literally love it and it's what I grew up doing with my mom all the time and her sisters. So as I got older, that's just kind of like our thing that we like to do. I'm just taking a little bronzer in the crease and I'm going to add some glitter to my lid. It's going to be the easiest I look ever. But I'm so excited to just have some girl time today because... I don't see my cousin as often as I would like because she's so busy. She's in college and she works and stuff. But she is definitely the cousin. Like, you know when you have that one cousin that you're just super close with, that you grew up with? She is that cousin for me. We grew up together. Even though we're six years apart, it doesn't really feel like it all the time. Like, even growing up, our age never really made a difference. We were always really close. I'm using ColourPop Glitter, by the way, in the shade Ritz. It's not glitter. It's a super shock shadow, but it's literally an Urban Decay Space Cowboy dupe. 
So I'm gonna layer this up and just pack it on. Also, quick little rant slash story time. So me and Hector went to the beach this past weekend with Bernard. It was lovely. It's literally like my favorite trip that we take every year. But we stayed at an Airbnb, you guys, and I don't know if you guys use Airbnb. Let me know. We've used Airbnb for years, and typically we really love it because... I'm going to add more glitter, by the way. Because usually the locations are really good. We've stayed at really nice Airbnbs with just good amenities and just nice places in general. I'm using this Fenty, by the way, it's the Diamond Bomb all over Diamond Veil. Vale. Just with my finger, I'm just emphasizing that glitter. But can we talk about how sometimes Airbnb can be like super shady and sus because we've stayed at good Airbnbs, but we've also stayed at places that are not that great, like not in the best areas or just kind of misleading. And that's sort of what happened to us this past weekend at the beach. It was like, didn't necessarily match the description of what the airbnb actually was they hyped it up and then we got there and we're like this doesn't really add up and it doesn't really seem like it's worth the price and to be honest me and hector are not complainers at all especially with places like airbnbs and stuff like we're always super grateful to even like stay wherever but airbnb has gotten so expensive and they've added so many fees so with certain places you have to be careful because it's definitely overpriced for what it is or you might think you're getting a certain amenity or something and you're really not it can be a little shady like certain people who run airbnbs and it's annoying or some airbnbs are not as sanitary as i feel like they should be but they're charging crazy fees or they're charging fees as if it was like a hotel so once upon a time i feel like airbnb was definitely a lot cheaper than staying at a hotel but you were able to get a really nice stay but nowadays i feel like you're paying just as much if not even sometimes more than staying at a hotel and it's just not always up to standards the places so that's kind of what happened to us it was still a nice trip and we still enjoyed it so if you guys are ever staying at an airbnb just be careful look at the reviews and even then sometimes the reviews like because everybody's different but there's definitely a lot of airbnbs that are sus so me and hector are just a little bit more cautious now with where we're going to stay and where exactly we're going to get airbnbs like with certain trips i was like let's just do a hotel versus airbnb because it, it's just not as pleasant as it used to be in my opinion does anybody else feel that way i mean of course it depends on the location and where you're staying and they're not all bad like i said we've stayed at really great places and we're still going to continue to use airbnb for certain places but with other things you're just better off staying at a hotel or a resort or somewhere depending on where you're staying it's definitely inspiring us to do airbnb and do it the right way me and hector have always talked about doing airbnb and just getting into investing i've talked to you guys about this before we're kind of just waiting to get like the right moment because the market is so crazy right now but especially after this trip it definitely inspired us even more to like do airbnb ourselves and just do it the right way like how we want we have a vision and i'm like if these people can do it we can do it so yeah just be careful and be mindful of where you guys are staying if you're using airbnb especially in major cities be careful be safe but of course not every airbnb is bad it's just We've had some experiences, which I guess that's the case with anything, because even like all hotels and stuff, they're not always perfect. And I'm using the Fenty Skin Tint today. This is so good and really long lasting and blurring on the skin. I'm not even gonna have time to do my hair. I wanted to straighten it or something, but I guess it doesn't really matter because it's raining anyway, so I'll probably just put it up, honestly. And speaking of investing, yesterday me and my mom went to go look at a potential investment property but it just didn't work out and that's kind of what's been happening lately we've been looking at different places but the stars just don't align so we're still looking because i really want to do that this year and i've been wanting to for honestly a while it's just not the best time always to get in things are so expensive so we're just waiting to get our feet wet and in the door hopefully soon and then as far as like an airbnb me and hector were kind of just thinking like where would we want to do it we're thinking maybe at down at the shore or just having a beach home in general i think would be great because we want to have one for ourselves but obviously like when we're not using it it would make so much sense to just rent it out i'm trying to think if i have any other updates for you guys but i really don't but I hope you guys are all doing great and having a great year so far. Can you guys believe that we're halfway through the year? Like it's gonna be Christmas before we know it. It's so crazy to me. Like just time is scary. It really is so scary how fast it goes. Like I cannot even fathom it sometimes. It's weird. I don't know, it just bugs me out sometimes. 
This Juvia's Place blush, by the way, stunning. It's in Soft Tulip, the new liquid blushes to die for. So me and Hector are planning, well, we want to do another trip in the fall. We're thinking about possibly Amsterdam, which I'm so excited. I really hope that the stars align and that we're able to do it. We still have to plan and do research and everything because literally it's like a whole nother world. Going to the Netherlands, that sounds whimsical, doesn't it? Like fairy land or something. Like it doesn't even sound real when you say it, the Netherlands. But we were chatting and we don't even know if we really want to do Airbnb there or a hotel. So if you guys have stayed in Amsterdam or if you've been there, let me know what some favorite spots are, best places to stay because we, if we want to do that in the fall, we literally have to start planning that like yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna do a little inner corner highlight. This is Hard Candy Fix My Halo Highlighter. Look at how white this is. It's so pretty in the inner corners. Honestly, I could have even put this on my lid as well. Let's add some more blush. I'm gonna do Juvia's Place Blushed Duo. We're gonna do a little pink moment here today. Baby doll cheeks. I'm going to add some Glow House Labs Bio Radiant Gel Highlighter in Rose Quartz. Obsessed with this look. This is so pretty and so easy too. Let's do a little LYS or do I want to do Rare Beauty? No, let's do Rare Beauty. Cannot get enough of this lip liner. And the shade Wise. I'm going to do a liquid lipstick today. This one is Laura Lee Los Angeles in the color Blushing. So I'm gonna just take the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and literally dab some on my lips and then put gloss over top. Another Laura Lee product. This one is in Nude Blossom. These smell so good. Beauty Blender 4-in-1 Boost. And today's OOTD. I'm wearing the Skims t-shirt. I love it because it's so stretchy and my favorite jeans from Levi's. These are actually from Amazon and they go with everything. And to keep it very cash, I'm gonna just wear some Vans. I love these with the little sunflowers on them. My friend Julie painted them. She's so talented and I love the Vans. They're actually so comfy. The perfume of the day, Catherine Malandrino Dream. This smells so good. It's really soft and pretty. One of my favorite daytime scents. So we came to Ross and I just came across these sneakers and they're so cute. They're from Guess. They're just like a simple sneaker. Found some Birkenstocks here. I don't have this style, but I have a similar slide to this and they're so comfortable. These are kind of cute. Mm -hmm. ¿Te gustan estos? No. ¿No te gustan? No. <laughs> these slippers are adorable and they're only $8. Okay, I'm gonna grab these little towel scrunchies four dollars but look how huge these scrunchies are the material is really nice oh, i also like these little <gasps> these bins i love them this one's really cute i love the pink ones how much are these five dollars you're mine i also really like this mirror here too because it's pink of course but it has this little tray under here which is like perfect for like tweezers or just like little things while i'm getting ready or filming Ooh, i might have to get this <gasps> juicy couture makeup bag this is so cute this is ten dollars this is huge i don't need another makeup bag but like i love this no i don't need it but i am gonna get this mirror though this is Perfect, and these little bins. This Steve Madden bag is adorable. The material is nice because it's like super easy to clean. They also have this white one here with black, which is also really cute, but I think I'm gonna go with the black one because it's just classic. It goes with everything. I mean, so does that one, but I'm afraid the white might get really dirty. I never have luck with white bags. It's only $12. Te gusta la base? Si. That one's better than the black one. Pero, it doesn't matter, right? No. There she is. I love the furniture at Ross. This little. Oh, it has a stain on it. But I do like this. These chairs look so cozy. They're super soft. Those are nice, actually. My mom's gonna get a new suitcase, but the luggage here is really nice. I'm actually impressed with the selection. I love all of these, especially that green one. This color is gorgeous. 
I really like that one. Found more makeup. You guys, this is literally one of my favorite concealers. The Dominique Cosmetics Wide Awake Concealer. They literally have it here at Ross. So crazy. They also have a ton of glam light, some palettes, and a ton of other goodies over here. Ooh, I see a little bit of pixie there too. Me puedo dar el lip icing y el bronzer? Es ese. ¿Cuál el otro? El que dice Big Mama es el mismo. Gracias. And here is the Ross haul and everything that I got. I got the four pack scrunchies. I also got four of these bins. These come in handy so much in my beauty room whenever I wanna just kind of separate different products for different videos throughout the week. So I love those. I got the Steve Madden bag. This is just perfect whenever I don't feel like carrying a ton of things and it's black so it goes with everything. Love this mirror. I cannot get over it. this color and also the tray here on the bottom. That's the main reason why I got it. So that's gonna be my new filming mirror. And I could not believe how much makeup they had at Ross. So I found the bar. Um, Big Mama bronzer. I also really like this brand. I remember using it years ago and I honestly forgot about it. So I wanted to try out a product again and then I got this Pixie gloss. It's a lip icing. And look at how gorgeous that color is. So I'm gonna just throw this in my purse. Honestly, it's, I feel like just a really good kind of topper gloss. And then I just got these flower clips and that is everything. So that was a really successful Ross trip. Today was such a nice day. Olive Garden was so good, by the way. 10 out of 10, if you guys have never ate there before, which I'm sure you have, but I really enjoyed it. I actually ended up getting a lunch special and it was so good. The soup was good, the bread was popping, everything was delish, so. That was fun. And then we did a little shopping. I showed you guys some goodies I got at Ross. And now I'm back home and I'm gonna do something that I don't wanna do, work out. Literally, this is the last thing that I wanna do, but you never regret a good workout. And I'm trying to be more consistent and like at least get like a good three days of working out in, but I really wanna start adding in like a fourth or fifth day. And sometimes throughout the day, you have to do stuff that you don't wanna do. And this is for me one of those things, so. Let's just get it done. I'm also working out on my makeup because I don't feel like taking it off. I, I'm honestly not against people who wear makeup to the gym because it's like literally who cares. I personally just don't like doing it because then I feel like I sweat and it clogs my pores and it's just, it's usually not the best thing, but I literally don't feel like taking it off. I have also the same shirt from earlier. And I just have on these leggings from Amazon that are just like Lululemon. They're so buttery and soft. And I'm gonna work out in my socks because I've been liking doing that here in the gym at home. But yeah, I'm gonna get this done, start editing and just chill and get ready for a new day tomorrow. So that is everything for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.